This year, with the iPhone 13 Pro Max, Apple is claiming that it has the best battery life on any iPhone ever. So we're gonna test it and compare it to arguably its biggest competition right now in the Samsung's Galaxy S21 Ultra. Taking a look at the spec sheets, while the iPhone 13 packs a bigger battery than last year's at 4,352 milliamp hours, it still pales in comparison to the Galaxy's massive 5,000 milliamp hour capacity. And unlike before, this year, the iPhone 13 Pro displays match the Galaxy's higher refresh rates of up to 120 hertz, which at least in the Galaxy has been found to use up more battery life. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this new iPhone fares and if it can live up to Apple's claim of lasting two and a half hours longer than before. Let's find out. All right, we'll kick things off in the phone test where each device is going on the same one hour phone call, where 60 minutes later, the iPhone is only reporting a one percentage point drop in its battery, falling to 99, while the Galaxy falls all the way down to 95. But the thing is, the iPhone kind of tends to over-report on its battery life early on. I think Apple does this to prevent people from overcharging their phones. So we'll see how it fares here in the messaging test, where after one hour of texting back and forth with our automated chatbots, this time it's the Galaxy that does better, dropping by six points compared to the iPhone's seven point drop. I don't know if that was due to the Galaxy being more efficient there, or if it was just the iPhone's battery percentage indicator giving us a more accurate estimates. But either way, here in the email, Email test, we're simply opening up the same set of emails and then scrolling through them a couple of times. So this will be the first time the higher refresh rates are being put to work with scrolling, where one hour later, the iPhone does better this time, improving its overall lead to four points as we head into the browser test. Now, this test is a lot more processor intensive than the last three, with each phone cycling through the same set of websites, loading each web page, and then scrolling through them, where after an hour of doing so, Whoa, it's a big difference with the iPhone doing significantly better, draining by just seven points compared to the Galaxy's 12 point drop. Okay, so this Instagram test is one that I've been looking forward to because while this test isn't really processor intensive at all, the only thing we're doing here is scrolling through the home feed, in theory, this should activate the higher refresh rates on the displays of each phone, where one hour later, it looks like the iPhone's ProMotion display was more efficient, dropping by just five points compared to the Galaxy's seven point drop. So heading into the standby test, the iPhone is ahead by double digits. And after 16 hours with the screens off on each phone, Despite having the smaller battery of the two, the iPhone still manages to do better, pulling another point ahead. So just incredible efficiency from the iPhone so far. We'll see if that trend continues here in YouTube, where in addition to the screens being calibrated to the same 200 nit brightness, we've also calibrated the speakers on each phone to the same decibel count, where after one hour of binge watching our YouTube channel, the iPhone 13 Pro Max continues to outperform, improving its total lead to a whopping 14 percentage points. We'll see if the Galaxy can make up some ground here in the gaming test, where each phone is playing Alto's adventure. But no, the iPhone does way better adding another six points to its lead. So as we move on to the maps test, the iPhone is 20 points ahead at 50% compared to the Galaxy's 30. But after an hour of simulated navigation, the Galaxy actually makes a little bit of a comeback with it doing two points better. We'll see if it can continue to make up some ground here in Spotify, where after an hour, no, the iPhone basically negated the results of the last test, pulling back ahead by 20 percentage points. Meaning, heading into this camera slash Snapchat test, the Galaxy doesn't have a whole lot of juice left. And with this being one of the most intensive tests that we have, the Galaxy's battery is fully depleted after just 28 minutes, while the iPhone is still amazingly at 25%. So there you have it. The iPhone 13 Pro Max is at 25% at the point at which the S21 Ultra dies, which basically leaves us with just one more question, which is how far can the iPhone 13 Pro Max go? 
Well, it completed the Snapchat test with 19% remaining, meaning it becomes one of five phones to have ever made it this far, entering the app cycle test, and it's doing so with more battery to start than any of them. So I have a feeling that we're gonna see some records broken here. With the iPhone 13 Pro Max reaching that 20 minute mark where last year's iPhone 12 Pro Max died, with 15% still left to go. So a huge improvement over last year's iPhone, which was already really good. But we still have more juice left to go, allowing the iPhone 13 Pro Max to get to the record, the one hour and five minute mark that the current champ, the iPhone 11 Pro Max from two years ago died at, with 9% still remaining. Enough for it to go on and on and on, and one of the most intensive tests you can think of, opening and closing all of these apps in a loop, for a whopping two hours and six minutes before it finally died. Bringing the total time to 28 hours and six minutes, 12 hours of which was active screen on time, making this year's iPhone 13 Pro Max easily and by far the new phone buff style battery test champ.